Marketing is a very broad discipline with many subdivisions. But the subdivision that has always interested me the most and in which really all of my research fits is known as marketing strategy. And that is a kind of top-down view of what companies are doing and why they're doing it. And it usually focuses on the big decisions, the kind of life or death decisions that companies make. So starting right at the beginning, how you build a major customer franchise or build a major brand, and then major expansionary initiatives like moving into new geographic markets or launching big new products. The kind of things that uh, affect the fundamental success of companies in mature markets, particularly where there's not much growth at home in your domestic markets, uh, which really is for the majority of well-known industries, everything from brewing to broadcasting to uh, furniture making, you know, that they are nearly all mature industries that in the developed economies are fairly mature and fairly flat. And the only way those companies can get growth is by basically buying other companies. And there has been a huge wave of acquisitions right through the 2000s. Uh, these things are measured in waves, and this was like a sixth wave over about a century. And I got interested in this because I found that there's lots and lots of research out there on mergers and acquisitions, and mainly trying to find out how well they do afterwards, and did they live up to the high expectations and promises that were... Uh, disclosed before they took place. And I found that there is a great deal of research, but it's nearly all done by finance and economics people. And it's nearly all focused on, did they save costs after they made their acquisition? Because companies usually claim when they're going to do a deal, they say, we hope that this deal will enable us to take out 20 million of costs or whatever, and will therefore make our business more profitable. But what I thought was more interesting was that if you read, and there are plenty, surveys, for example, of chief executives asked why did they embark on an acquisition of one kind or another, and the reasons were always to do with growth. They were to grow our market footprint or to broaden our product portfolio, but one way or another it was to try and get growth for their company, top line growth in revenue and also then hopefully growth in profit. But nobody was researching this and how you grow and develop your business is obviously very much in the mainstream of marketing. So I thought it would be really good to try to set up a mar uh, marketing research program that looked at mergers and acquisitions but through a marketing lens. So what we did was to take a sample of American companies, a matched sample of buyers and sellers. And we studied them over seven years. We studied them before they merged for three years. And then we looked at what happened in the merger year. And then we studied them for three years after they merged to see whether there was a two plus two equals five effect, to see whether when you put them together, their performance was better than just the sum of the two that has increased and uh, magnified over time. And we measured a number of metrics because uh, we needed to find uh, what happened in depth uh, from a marketing point of view. So we looked at revenue, units sold, profit margins, marketing investment, uh, and other investments and in product development and relevant things like that. And uh, basically what we found was that when you ruled out inflation effects and industry average trends, that actually these companies did not, on average, deliver exceptional performance. Their performance was the same, more or less, as it had been before they were merged. So we did not really find evidence of that kind of 2 plus 2 equals 5 effect. What we found was that you put big companies or big ones and small ones together and uh, therefore they grow by putting them together, but they may get bigger, but it doesn't mean they necessarily get better in terms of their other dimensions of performance. Mm -hmm.